everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Coaching Businesses for Success. We're so glad you're here. I'm your, we're your host, Megan and Sherry. You can find us on Facebook. We would love to connect with you. Um, today, we're talking about how to get practice in QuickBooks Online if you're just starting out. Um, there's a lot of ways to do that. Megan, how did you first learn QuickBooks Online? Um online course that I took and really just kind of got a when I've got my first client is really when I learned way more um like really diving in hands-on because I'm a hands-on learner more than but it was also well like I have a book for QuickBooks online googling and stuff as well too to kind of learn but yeah that first client actually getting in there and doing it was what was super helpful for me yep so I wanted to show everyone how to get into the QuickBooks sample company. So um, if you've gone through our, or are interested in how to set up QuickBooks online accountant, um, or if you're in our book, bookkeeper blueprint, you'll see how exactly how to set up QuickBooks online. Um, once you do that, after that step's completed, you'll have access to the QuickBooks sample company, which... Um, so I'm just on another tab in QuickBooks, um, but you'll, you'll open up to your QuickBooks online and it will default to your clients list. Either way, you're going to come up to your initial up here in the top, right? Sorry, in the settings. <laughs> and you're going to click sample company underneath your company. And you're going to click continue. And it's going to open up to this test company where you can do no harm. So this is great if you already have clients and you're looking to say, hey, how do I create an estimate that the client wants in this particular manner? Or if you're just getting started, you can do a lot of different things. So you can come over here to the banking tab. This is where most bookkeepers go first, and you're immediately met with all of these transactions that need something done with them. And so you can learn how to match to deposits, match to checks, and just play around with like, okay, what all these buttons do, um, and start getting familiarized with um, the functions in QuickBooks. You can play around with reports. You can play around with almost everything. Um, there's a few limitations, but if you're wondering like, okay, great, I'm in it, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I haven't done a client before. This looks great to learn some buttons. We do actually have um, a set of practice steps and scenarios, things to do for a company using this sample company. Um, it's in the Bookkeeper Blueprint. I will link it below. And it will just give you hands-on practice, um, kind of start to finish. So setting up the client, how to code the bank feeds, how to create stuff in it. Um, and it's it's in scenarios. So you start to think about real world, how to use this with the client, um, which I really like from there. Um, some other ways that you can learn QuickBooks Online we found is doing your personal books. So again, going to the QBOA, your, your accounts and access, um, doing the revenue share, which I also walk you through in that course, but go ahead and set yourself up for revenue share with QuickBooks and then create yourself a just simple start QuickBooks account where you're gonna upload your bank, you're gonna connect your bank to everything that you do for a client, but for your personal bookkeeping. You're going to create those same type of accounts, but it's going to be like utilities, groceries, rent, and mortgage, right? So um, sometimes your bank will, most, a lot of banks now are like prompting you with like, this is auto and transport. This is meals. This seems to be shopping. Um, you can use those categories. Don't make it complicated. Um, if you need help, feel free to let us know um, in the Facebook group. Say, hey, I'm working on this. Can I get some help? Um, I'd be more than happy to create a chart of accounts for you um, to use for that. And we can just import them. Um, but that's a great way because you already know what those expenses are. And 
can start categorizing them and you can actually do a full year. You could do, do the whole last year or the whole quarter and get you like get some real life three quarter, you know, three months at least, if not 12 of coding transactions reconciling, coding transaction reconciling. And if you do one month, one month at a time, you're gonna get that repetitive hands-on learning that you're probably looking for before you hit reconcile on a client's books, which feels a little like, oh my gosh, am I gonna do something wrong? Um, we get it, we've been there. Um, the other way you can get practice is just as you go. So you're gonna be doing your personal, your business books now that you're a business owner, you might be still doing your personal books and you're gonna have a client. We're gonna hustle and go get that client. So learning on the job is the fastest way um, to get experience in QuickBooks Online. Because if you stay stuck in watching videos and I've got to learn this, I've got to get QuickBooks certified, I've got to do all of these things, all of which are good and I'm definitely not discouraging you from doing, I'm discouraging you from doing instead of starting your business, right? Um, we don't want to hide behind the education. We want to go get it. We don't want to hide behind it and use it as an excuse to delay. Um, but yeah, those are my, that's what I would do if I was learning QuickBooks over. Um, and if I need to learn something new in QuickBooks, that if there's a new um, feature that comes out and we want to play with it, we go to the sample company to mess up the sample company because it will refresh <laughs> so you can't mess it up. Yep, definitely. Well, we will see you guys on the next episode. I will leave everything in the comments below. If you have questions, comment below. Okay. We'll watch those and we respond. Um, we're also super responsive in the Facebook group. So please go find us there. Um, we love that community. It's a super engaged group. We answer, bookkeepers answer. So um, if you're still looking for a bookkeeping tribe, that's probably the place for you. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I will see you in either place. Um, see you guys next time. Awesome. Thank y'all. Bye.